Hey, this is Maginoni, and here's a slightly different type of manga haul. I got in my head that I wanted to do something a little different with my manga, and I was looking, I went on a hunt for a manga series that I've always wanted to see, and it never, it, it started to come out in the U.S. in this case, but it never will finish, and um, if I could find the whole collection, then I'd buy it. So the first series that I picked up was called The Bastard. Now, it was originally licensed by Viz. 19 volumes came out in English, but the problem is there's 27 volumes in the series. So I made my purchase and the manga all arrived. Now here's the interesting part. Now, the entire shipment is a lot different than what you would expect from a US eBay person who you bought something from. And I understand, you know, your mileage may vary based on the actual manga seller on eBay, but this is what I got with mine. As you can see, to start off with, I got a Nintendo catalog. And this was like sealed in plastic, but I removed the plastic on this. And oh, it's they basically just talk about you know, the different Nintendo games that are coming out and, you know, the various platforms. Okay, next, I got this little booklet here. Now, when you buy a monthly or a weekly manga in Japan, sometimes you'll get these little, like, bonus booklets. You know, like, a Shonen Jump wouldn't have it, but there's other types of, uh, ser um, Seri serials or periodicals, I should say, that will have something like this. So I got that. And I got the Star Wars guide. Now I've not looked at this yet. Oh, mini posters. Oh, mini poster and booklet same okay so I got that now here's the other thing that's different now typically when you buy a trade let's say um, from a US vendor they just take the trades and they just stick them in an envelope if you buy comics then they'll usually bag and board it and then stick it in the envelope this manga seller packaged all of the manga in sets like about five or six volumes, and it's completely sealed tight. I mean, sh um, this person used a lot of tape on this thing, so th this you know did a fantastic job at protecting the manga from shifting uh, during uh, packaging or during the flight over, and every uh, volume came in perfect. And I'm so glad she did or he or she did this versus like using popcorn or um, newspaper because you know like I hate having all that extra stuff especially popcorn you know it gets all over your floor the only drawback is this is like a royal pain unless like you're using like a knife or something like that oh also they included like a little personal note that says you know Thank you for buying. But anyway, so let's get this open. Okay, here we go. Now, um, the bastard was originally uh, created by Kazushi Hagiwara, and it's for those of you who don't know, the bastard is a s fantasy sci-fi heavy metal fan service explosion. Um, at the very beginning of the series, it's the art was really simplistic, and it was definitely more fantasy based. Uh, Dark Schneider was this like evil sorcerer who was going to destroy everything. Group of wizards got together and imprisoned him. Well, bad things are coming, and they have to free him. So this way, they are going to use him to defeat the new evil that's trying to destroy everything. What made this unique is, like in JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, um, Kazushi was influenced in heavy metal music. So 
a lot of his characters used heavy metal names or his magic um, spells were like you know like Megadeth or Anthrax but you know they make slight little variations to the name and here is five volumes and as you can see the art's kind of simple it's kind of um, fantasy orientated then as we progress uh, we get a little bit fan service I have to be really careful with this fan service stuff because um, there's massive amounts of nudity and other things all over the place but as you can see the artwork is starting to change a little bit and then what gets really good is as we're starting to get later in the series things get a lot more violent swords get bigger other things get bigger and um, it without re knowing exactly what's going on because I don't have all the volumes but it looks like it starts turning into this war between heaven and hell because like you start seeing oh, I can't show that picture um, see like for example well, that's not even a good one. you start seeing people with um, wings and um, like for an example like that and then there's the and then it definitely does give the impression impression at times where like basically every there's creatures coming from the sky and then there's the people down below and then there's some original artwork of like some of the creatures that he fights later and it's not just like necessarily dark schneider that's doing the fighting it's like a bunch of other people that are fighting there's 16 17 now, the one thing that really, really pissed me off, though, is, so I'm going, I mean, all I was, I was laser focused on the final volume, because that was the one volume that um, I just kind of wanted to see how it ended, because I, I know, I knew in Japan, now, now I might get my story a little off, because it's been a while, and this also is not necessarily coming from a 100% trusted source, but basically... Um, he was taking forever to come up with chapters. And Shonen Ultra Jump, basically, the editors said, um, we're ending the series. And they ended it kind of prematurely. So I was curious, you know, to see how it ended. And I turned to the last page, and it just basically, it trolled me. It trolled me hard. And I was so pissed off. I just tossed the final volume, I mean gently tossed it, back into the box. And uh, it, it took me a couple of days to actually muster the energy and desire to pull this out of the box. But I'll show you the last page. So this way you'll understand my anger. Okay, oh, first of all, okay, Dark Schneider was fighting this girl. You get that for the beginning part. Then, apparently, there's a magical technique where you stick your tongue into the other person's mouth and you cast your spell that way because that's how they continue to do battle for a good chunk of the manga after that. Then, there's another section where... You see a different side of this character that you might not normally expect to see. If, for an example, if she was like walking at the mall, you would get one ex one viewing of her, and maybe uh, you know a little bit of you might say, you know, I kind of wonder what she would look like in another situation. Well, we learn what another situation is and what her appearance would look like in that situation. Okay, so we're getting to the end, and I'm still going, where's this big fight? There's no big fight. And that's how it ends. 
to be continued. And there is no more period. That's it. Nothing else. No volume 28. I have no idea. I mean, I know there's some scans that go up this. They don't. The scans don't go up to that page. But they get up far enough so this way I can go, okay, kind of get the gist of what's going on. You don't understand my pain. You don't understand how long I've been wanting to read this. Or at least look through this. To visualize what happens. And I see the words to be continued. I, I just... It, it soured me. I turned sour really quick. Very, very. Uh, I, I mean, if I could have flown to Japan and demanded that uh, Kazushi explain what happened, I would do that. If I had that ability. You know, like if somebody says, hey, you can have one superhero power, what would it be? My power would be to teleport to Japan and demand Kazushi to tell me the ending to the story. that That's how pissed off I was. But anyways, I got all 27 volumes. I am going to be buying more, though. There's other series that I've been really wanting for a long time. And um, I just, you know, like, I don't care if I can't read it or not. You know, there's just one of these things where you just want to see it. You appreciate the artwork. You know, like MPD Psycho. I have uh, nine volumes I know there's 11 that were translated, but there's more. The artwork is fantastic, and the story is just insane. So I know I'm not going to get the story part, but I just want to appreciate the artwork at least until the end. But um, I don't know. It's, it's going to get expensive to do all this, so I'm not going to be able to buy tons of manga. Shindo is another one. Oh, my God. I've been reading the scans for that fantastic artwork. Glorious violence. It is, it's insane. Um, also, just so you guys know, uh, the right stuff is offering a sale right now for Viz Manga. And I believe they have all the volumes for 20th Century Boys and 21st Century Boys. Highly recommend buying that, all of them. It is so freaking good. It's, you just have to buy it. It, it needs to be a part of your collection. Trust me on this. Um, buy it while you can, and then you can thank me, and then go buy Pluto and Monster, because uh, those you'll also just, you'll thank me when you get finished, and you'll never doubt a word I say again in my life. But anyways, uh, this is my bastard manga pickup. Comments or questions, let me know. If you think I might be interested in a Japanese-only series, let me know. And um, we'll have more stuff later, so until next time.